Okay, 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 okay. All right, so if y'all been following along, this is all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan. So according to Aaron Wilson, the Ravens have released Eric Tomlinson. And Eric, Aaron Wilson, he's somebody that uh, covered the Ravens some years ago, but now he covers the Texans. Uh, so I'm sure he still got ties with the Ravens and whatnot. Um, but anyway, this no surprise it ain't no shock or anything like that uh, and this is something that i've expected and still what i think is going to go down um nick boyle they activated him on a roster so that was as expected too so just a quick recap with eric Tomlinson situation nick boyle um i think that nick boyle he'll start the season on injury reserve after he gets through making the active roster they'll put him on injury reserve then on regular season injury reserve and then that's when they'll bring back eric tomlinson i'm sure they told him like eric look we, we love you know we got love for you eric we, you know we got love for you thank you um but look we're gonna release you now but just wait don't go nowhere don't go nowhere don't sign with nobody same thing they told days last year don't sign with nobody but this is obviously a different situation but eric don't sign with nobody and we're gonna bring you back we're gonna bring you back because, again, Nick Boyle, if he ain't playing week one and John Harbaugh said it, then he ain't going to be playing week two and he probably ain't going to be playing week three either. So, Eric Tomlinson, I think, my opinion, will be back once this whole thing, uh, once the, 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 the roster is set. So, I think that could be, uh, I think he'll be back on Wednesday because uh, the roster got to be set by Tuesday at 4 p.m., uh, then I think Wednesday they'll bring him on back and they'll place Nick Boyle on injury reserve. So he missed those three games. Now, real quick, um, Deion Kane, because there was some confusion. Uh, I got confused because earlier Jeff Zrebic, he said that Deion Kane got waived. But then the Ravens, they hadn't really made it official yet. So Deion Kane is not waived as of right now. With Deion Kane, he is dealing with a concussion. Um, well, he's in concussion protocol. Uh, and with him being in concussion protocol, you can't release a player that's injured. You have to wait until they are fully healthy uh, or you put them on IR. And then when they come fully healthy, you can either keep them on IR or come to an injury settlement with that player. And then they can be a free agent. Uh, so Deion Kane, there has not been a move made on Deion Kane yet, uh, but he's not going to make the roster, unfortunately. Uh, so best case scenario for him uh well, not even best case scenario, because I was going to say uh, best case scenario would be IR Stash. Um, but best case scenario for him, if he wanted to try to play this year, would be uh, IR injury settlement or just getting waived or just getting healthy and getting waived. Um, but it ain't like they can make his concussion all of a sudden go away uh, by tomorrow, because tomorrow is when they got to come up with the uh, with the roster. They got to go from wherever they are now to 53 man roster. So. I would think it would be IR for Deion King because he's, he's not going to be on the roster. So it's looking like it's going to be injury reserve. And with Benjamin Victor, he's another one uh, that in concussion protocol. So, again, and it's, it's, it works both ways because it, it's tricky because with Benjamin Victor, he was somebody I felt like if the Ravens were keeping seven receivers, he would be that number seven. Uh, with Miles Boykin, I, to me, it's not looking good right now. Um, and the other six, again, the other six are locks. Uh, so that seventh spot, Miles Boykin, Benjamin Victor, Deion Kane, I think all those boys were battling for it. Uh, Benjamin Victor obviously got the upper hand right now because he's been healthy. Uh, he made some plays in preseason, um, and he's available. But right now, with him also being in concussion protocol, you can't just automatically make that concussion go away. So you got to make a decision with him too. So it's looking like... Both of those boys are going to be going to injure reserve, but we just got to wait and see. So, mm, tough job being a GM of a football team because you got to make some tough, 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 painful uh, decisions. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out. <laughs>